Do you live off-grid? Are you looking for a reliable, robust, and lightweight inverter manufactured and designed by an American company? It might be time to toss your 20-year-old trace inverter and upgrade to the new Rosie from Midnight Solar. Hi, I'm Logan, one of the solar applications engineers with NOS Solar Electric, and today I'm helping you plug into solar. In this video, we're gonna introduce you to the brand new ROSI inverter charger for Midnight Solar. Uh, we've got this hooked up here in kind of a test setup. We're gonna put it through its paces, load it down with some common household shop garage type appliances and see how well it does. So in front of me here, we've got the ROSI setup connected to a 48 volt battery. This is a Fortress E-Volt Max battery. Uh, I got the display from Midnight Solar connected, our AC output from the inverter. It's going through an energy meter. We can see what, what amount of power the loads are pulling. And then we've got, again, kind of just some household items that um, you might find in the garage or maybe your workshop, a saw, a heat gun, an air compressor. Uh, we're actually gonna try to plug in an EV, try to charge a Tesla off of the Rosie too. So let's, uh, let's get into it and we'll see how it does. The Rosie is a pure sine wave inverter charger. It's got a 12240 split phase output. It's capable of 7,000 watts maximum continuous AC output and has a 15 kVA surge rating. The inverter has a 48 volt nominal DC battery input with a 120 amp rated battery charger. Uh, it's also custom programmable for any kind of battery chemistry you may be using. This pairs really, really nicely with any of Midnight Solar's MPPT controllers, such as the Classic Series, which we're all familiar with, and also is designed to work well with their new Hawks Bay and Barcelona models. So first off, one of the really, really cool things about the Rosie you'll notice almost immediately is how light this unit is. So the inverter itself is only 43 pounds. Uh, that goes up to somewhere between 60 and 70 pounds when it's paired with the optional E-Panel, but that's a huge deal. Um, inverters elsewhere on the market from other manufacturers with a similar power output rating are gonna weigh easily twice that. So again, really compact, small form factor, lightweight, easy to transport, easy to mount and install. So the Rosie has a really robust surge rating. Again, that was 15 kVA. That's essentially 60 amps at 240 volts. It can sustain that for up to 60 seconds. That gives the ROSI the surge capability of a real heavy duty, low frequency transformer based inverter, but coming to you in the small, compact, lightweight form factor that we would often find with high frequency for switching units. So the ROSI has UL1741 and UL458 listings. Uh, they also offer a specific mobile version that has neutral to ground switching which would be the model to use for any RV or marine applications. Uh, this is, generally speaking, a great product for all of our off-gridders out there. This can also work really well for residential battery backup. And then, of course, with the mobile-specific version, uh, RV marine applications are suitable for the Rosie just the same. So this is an early release of the Rosie inverter. Midnight's been kind enough to uh, provide us here to let us demo for you guys on this video. Um, Hopefully in the future with firmware updates, we'll see some more uh, grid interactive type of functionality achieved uh, like what you would see with other multimodal inverters. Uh, also, we are going to see the ability to stack multiple units together for increased power output. And Midnight Solar is also working on closed loop communications with um, several popular lithium battery manufacturers. All right, so enough of the specifications. Let's get to the part everybody really wants to see. We're gonna start loading this thing down to test it and we'll see how it performs. Uh, to start off with, we're gonna, we're gonna turn on some of these 120 volt uh, kind of tool shop loads first. We've actually got all three of these uh, on one single leg. Again, the saw, a heat gun, and then an air compressor. We'll see how the Rosie handles that. And then we've also got an EV charger under the table beneath us. We're going to plug that into a Tesla and see how, see how well it does with that as well. Okay, so first we're going to turn on the chop saw. And now we're going to turn on the heat gun. Next we're going to turn on the air compressor.
And finally, we'll turn on the circular saw. So the first thing we tested was we turned each load on by itself, check to see how much power it was consuming, and then turn the next one on. So first thing we kicked on was the chop saw here. That was running at about 850 watts continuous. Uh, next, we did the heat gun. That pulled about 1,500 watts on its own. Uh, the air compressor, similarly, was about another 1,500 watts by itself. And then the circular saw on its own, that was pulling about 500 or so watts. So now that we've got an idea of what each one needs by itself, we're gonna try to run them all at the same time and see what happens. First thing we're gonna turn on is the chop saw. And now we're turning on the heat gun. Here goes the air compressor. And now we're turning on the circular saw. All right, now everything's on. We've got everything running at once. All right, so that wrapped up our, our test for the 120 volt loads. Um, we had all four of these appliances running simultaneously. Chop saw, heat gun, air compressor, circular saw. Um, we can't plug anything else in. We ran out of, we ran out of outlets. Uh, the load was sustained at about 4,300 watts continuously, and this thing did not even flinch. It did not balk at all. It totally handled the load just fine. Again, we've got all four of these things on the same 120 volt leg, and even, even the high startup surges from the saws, from the compressor, this thing handled it no issues. So really, really impressed actually so far. Um, we don't have anything else to plug in, so now we're gonna try to charge a Tesla with the Rosie, we'll see how it does with that. So we've got the Rosie now hooked up to a Tesla. We're charging that with 240 volts. Um, looks like the Rosie's sustaining a load of about 7,600 watts. Um, it's got an 8.4 kVA surge. It can sustain that for 30 minutes. So we could honestly just let this thing sit here and charge the car and um, it shouldn't have any issues at all. So that wraps up our testing day for the Midnight Rosie inverter. The, the last thing we tried here was charging an EV from the Rosie's AC output. Uh, we had the Rosie pushing about 7,500, 7,600 watts continuously for at least 10 or 15 minutes without any issues at all. Uh, per the spec sheet for Midnight on this inverter, it can sustain an 8.4 kVA load for up to 30 minutes. So. In theory, we could have left this thing sitting here for about a half an hour and shouldn't have any issues at all. Before we wrap the video up for today, I wanted to point out just a couple more really unique features on the Rosie that, that caught our eye. Uh, one of those is the inverter's ability to power its full rated seven kilowatt AC output on just one single 120 volt leg. Uh, we've tested that, it works. You don't get any faults or errors. The inverter doesn't complain. So that's a really kind of a special feature that actually is not really common in, in many other uh, battery-based inverters that you'll find out there. Another thing that's pretty cool about the Rosie is it can take in a 120 volt AC input and maintain a split phase 120 240 output um, from that 120 volt input. So that's again kind of a special unique feature that they've built into this unit. Uh, gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you how you do your system design, how it works, and uh, also makes it a great option for mobile RV marine systems as well. So I hope everybody enjoyed that test on the new Rosie inverter charger for Midnight Solar. Uh, pretty cool to see what this thing's capable of. I'm actually extremely impressed by what we saw here today. Uh, if you have any questions on the Rosie for Midnight or questions about any other battery-based inverters for a system of your own, Give us a call, send us an email, open up a chat on our website, and our team will be happy to help you out. Be sure to check out the Learning Center on our website for more information, and subscribe to our YouTube for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.